Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be eating the Indomie Mi Goreng mukbang. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's this one right here. This. And I got the hot and spicy one. With a little extra kick to it, you know? But before we get into the video, I want to show you guys something really quick. I want to show you this right here so this is the uh it's called tumerical simply turmeric um basically turmeric supplements so for me i've been taking these for about two weeks now and in those two weeks one of the week i have my period right i know tmi a little bit but listen listen turmeric is full of antioxidants it helps with inflammation and digestion right so when i was on my period and i was also taking these i noticed a huge difference when it came to bloating because i bloat a lot when i'm on my period didn't feel uncomfortable like how i would be normally so i just i i mean i just started taking it but i really do feel like there is a difference and um since they're in um pill capsules I actually like um I actually opened it and then um I mixed it with honey and I did like a little face mask and it just like brightened my skin it made it feel less it just it made it feel like really fresh I don't know it's, it's really good for your skin it's really good for your insides if you want to try it you can follow the link in my description and that will lead you to the website and you can also use the use my code toy to bay for 20% off this these pills now these pills aren't supposed to are intended to diagnose cure treat or prevent diseases so just letting you know it's not like a miracle pill or anything it's just vitamin that you take now back into this mukbang all right so i have the noodles here no soup just dry i'm about to be putting on all these packets i have okay that was the last of it let me mix it together and let me get right into this story because it gets me heated every time, bro. I know you're supposed to have this, pair this with fried eggs, but I don't got time for that right now, okay? We're, we're just gonna eat this with this cucumber, my coconut water, with my amazing coconut water, by the way. This Taste Nirvana has the bestest coconut water ever. It's the ingredients. Just coconut water and coconut pulp. Uh, they're Thai coconuts too. So you know it's good. Mm. That is delicious. Now I know what you guys are talking about with that fried egg. Mmm. Okay. Let me get a few more bites in and then I swear to you I will start the story. Guys, this is really good ramen. Holy crap. Mmm. That's delicious. The story. Let me start. 
So this was in sophomore year of high school. This was after when I got out of a a really abusive and toxic relationship. So it was a time where I spent a lot of time with my friends and we went out to parties almost every single weekend. And so I went to this party. I, I, I met I met some guys there and like they were cute and all they, they none of them <clears throat> oof, none of them went to my school so they were all new to me so and I thought they were cute right and there was one he came up to me and he basically he said hi, introduced himself. I said hi, introduced myself, and we. He's like, let's take a picture. So I was like, okay. And then he. He took a picture on my phone. Yeah, we took a picture on my phone, and then he's like, send that to me, right? And he gave me his number. And in the morning, I sent it, and it was weird because he didn't reply. I was like, all right, like he he was probably drunk last night and then he was like, nah, she wasn't that cute anyway. So then he didn't reply, but whatever. So then I went on Twitter and um, my friend, he was like, hey, this guy's looking for you. He's asking like for your number and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, okay. It turns out this dumb boy gave me a wrong number. I don't know why, but I, he's just dumb. Long story short, he got my number. We started talking. We started talking, and I knew that he liked me, and he knew that I was into him too, right? So it was like, right off the bat, it was just like, okay, let's hang out. Let's let's chill. started to hang out right and we started to literally talk every day one of those good like the good mornings and good night texts and stuff like that type of talking you know so you know the level of importance in that And during this time, this guy, he's like a huge pothead. So when I was hanging out with him, like every time we would be so high. So there was this one time where I borrowed my friend's bong so we could smoke. And she had, she kept the bong in her, in like a little, a little bag. Um, one of those like uh, like drawstring bags, you know? Yeah, so she kept a bo- her bong in there and I just borrowed it for like the week, whatever, right? But she specifically told me to don't give it to anybody else and to just keep it to myself, you know? Like when I smoke it or when I smoke it with other people, like just make sure that nobody takes it. Just take care of her bong for her, right? And I did. I did. I had to go to Seattle for a uh, a family a family vacation for a week, right? So this boy, he asked me, he was like, hey, since you're going to be gone for a week, can I borrow the bong? And I was like, I was contemplating because I was like, she wouldn't know, you know? So I was like, okay, fine, like go, but don't be posting it nowhere. Don't just keep it to yourself right and he was like yeah sure trust me i'll take care of it blah 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 right boy oh this this is the part of the story that gets me mad hold on Okay.
when I went on vacation, literally that exact same day, he did not text me at all. He just ghosted me, right? So I'm here on vacation thinking that I had, okay, I actually really liked the guy. Like, he was cool. Like, he was sweet. He was nice. And then out of nowhere, I'm on vacation, and this boy's not replying to me. So I'm just like, I, you know that horrible gut feeling in your stomach, and then you're on vacation, and you can't fucking enjoy your fucking vacation because you have, you, it's always, it's like in the back of your head, and you're just feeling like, ugh. You know, like that feeling, it was just horrible. I tried to text him. I texted him like, hi, hey, nothing. So I'm just like, all right, okay. I guess this is happening right now. I guess you are you don't have the courage or the balls to tell me, yo, like, I don't want you no more. Like, let's just not, let's just drop everything. Three days into the trip, I get a text from my friend and she put this in the group chat that I was in. So I was like, fuck, like, so now everybody knows that I'm a fucking bad friend, right? She had a screenshot of his Twitter and this dumbass boy posted a picture of her bong that I borrowed that she specifically told me to not give to anybody else. He posted a picture of the bong saying chillin' or whatever, something like that. And I'm just like, oh my god, why do you have to show off? Like, this isn't even yours. So at this point, all I'm worried about is just getting her bong back because I'm just worried about getting my friend back at this point because I do not care. Like, like, my feelings for this little boy had, like, gone out the window. Like, it's donezo. Nothing is left anymore. Like, at this point, I just wanted the bong back because I wanted to win my friend back, right? So, she was like, just get it back for me, whatever. She was obviously mad, right? So, I was just like, okay, I will. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm just, like, kissing her ass. Just, you know? So. <sighs> this is where... Okay, let me just say goodbye. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is like the worst mukbang ever. I'm just like talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Here, let me do this big bite for y'all. Okay. <sighs> so I text this boy immediately and I was like, hey, when I get back, the first thing I'm going to do is take the bomb back because my friend saw your fucking picture that you posted. And plus, I just, I was going to get the bomb back either way, right? And this, he actually replied he replied, y'all, he said, okay. At least, like, I know that my text messages are coming through. I got back, um, I got back late at night. So, <clears throat> I texted him, I was like, hey, I'm gonna head to your house tomorrow, early in the morning, or, like, around, like, 11, or whatever, around, I gave him a time, a specific time that I was gonna be there, 
to get it. He was like, okay, I guess. So I was like, okay, you're getting my messages. You're replying. You're not talking to me, but you're replying. So I was just like, okay, I know at this point I'm going to get the bong back. So I just hit up my friend saying, hey, could you please like give me a ride to this guy's house? I need to get... Um, my I need to get the bong back and stuff like that. So then she was like, yeah, sure. So we get to his house. And I was like, hey, I'm in front. Give Just come out. Give me the bong. No reply. No reply, y'all. So my friend was like, okay, like, let's just wait in front for a little bit. We came there around 11. texted him again around 12 I was like yo what the fuck like I just want my bong back like what's going on no reply y'all so I was sitting in the car contemplating I was like I know where you live I'm literally right in front of your house I could go and knock on your door tell your mom that you got my fucking bong and I want it back. But she's a little Asian mom, so I didn't want to make a scene. I didn't want I didn't want to mess with his Asian mom. We waited and waited until four, y'all. Four. This boy kept saying, Oh, I'ma get off work soon. Eight o'clock rolls around and I get a text. And he says, hey, meet me at the skate park. The story's almost ending, but let me get a bite. So my friend pull up to the skate park, and we're there. We see no cars, right? And we're just there. We waited, and then a car pulls up. And I just see, like, we were parked parallel to the uh, sidewalk or, like, the little concrete area, right? We were parked like this. So we were right here, and we see a car coming this way, and then it goes this way. And then it parks in front of us, right? I'm just giving you guys a visual. So right now, I'm parked. We are behind that car right now, right? And so I was like, is that, is that him? Is that them? Who is he with? I saw a girl's head on the passenger seat, but I know that's not his car. So I was like, hmm, what's going on? So, I thought to get out of the car and just get the bag that the bong was in. But then, I see movement in the car in front of us. So, I was like, okay, what's going on? His bitch has the bong bag, right? And she... Hung it out of the passenger side and dangled it like here, bitch, come fetch. And so at this point, I was just like, is this happening? What the fuck is going on? What the fuck is this bitch thinking, right? I'm shaking, like, talking about this because I'm, like, going through the, like, I'm really going through the story, like, mentally <laughs> right now. And my friend was like, don't make it a big deal. Just get out of the car and get, get your shit, right? So I was looking at her like, are you really telling me 
to walk my little ass to their to his girlfriend's car that he's driving and she's gonna hand me the bong bag excuse me so she pulls up to the side my friend pulls up to the side uh, of them and i see him and i see her and they started to like laugh, like giggle, laugh, like this shit was funny. And I'm just like, what the fuck is so funny? Y'all laughing in my face right now? At this point, I'm just like, sh- I was just, I didn't know how to feel. So I grabbed the bag. My friend literally like zoomed out of the parking lot. And we went to a gas station nearby because she needed to get gas. And I just started crying, y'all. Like, I was bawling. Not because I cared about him so much and that I was so hurt from him being, like, from him still being with his girlfriend. I felt just completely, utterly disrespected it was a disrespectful move for her to dangle the shit out the window it was disrespectful for them to laugh in my face and it was disrespectful for him to not have let me know what the fuck was going on i really got played this whole time i was the side chick so it's it, it was just a crazy mess I'm done, guys. Mm. All right, that's it, y'all. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for listening to that story. I hope you guys enjoy this video. You can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter at Toy Bay. Bye.